Hi, today I want to show you how to create motion blur. If you have an image like this, an image of a car standing still, and you want to give it more motion, like make it look like it's moving, then you might want to make the background a little bit blurry. That's called motion blur. In order to do that, we're going to use four steps. Step one, select the car. Step two, fill in the empty space. Step three, blur the background. And step four, blur the wheels. So let's get started. Let's first make a duplication. So hit Ctrl plus J. And then I'm going to use the pen tool to make a selection of the car. And from now on, I'm going to fast forward just to save some time. So now we have made our selection using the pen tool, but you can use whatever tool you think is helpful for you. And we have also deselected some of the window areas because as you can see, you can see through the windows and see the background. So the background inside the window should also be blurry. That's why we deselect that. Okay. So now let's jump to step two. We're going to empty the selected area. So now let's first make a duplication of our selection. Hit the Ctrl and J. So now we have our selected area in a separate layer. And now click on layer one and hit Ctrl or Command and click on layer two. So now we will have our selection back and hit delete. So now you can see back in layer one, this area becomes empty. And let's deselect that. So hit control plus D. Now, now we have um, our entire layer one. Um, you might think that why not just blur layer one and then add on our layer two. Well, let me show you what will happen if we do that. So click on filter, blur, motion blur. Okay. And you can see that part of the background also shows the empty area and that's definitely not what we want. So let's undo everything. That's why you can't just blur this layer. So what we have to do is to first fill in this area so that um, it will have something in here. So it will not show the empty area once we blur it. So we can simply 
let's make the selection back control and hit that layer so now we have our selection back and then let's um, because we want the selected area to to be to expand a little more so let's click here transform select uh, transform selection and expand let's expand just a little bit let's say three pixels hit ok and now you can see that it is a little bit bigger than our selection and now we can cl click on edit view and here we have content aware let's click the content aware it means the system will just find something in the content and fill the empty area with that content let's click ok well you can see that some parts aren't very accurate like here the sign becomes here but that doesn't matter because as long as the edges are correct then it's okay because most of the selection will be covered by our layer 2 so now we can blur this background so let's deselect this area so now we have our full background here again filter blur motion blur let's give it a effect okay so now we can click on layer 2 to let it show and now we have something like this well it is already pretty 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 nice right but something might still need to be fixed see the wheels here because if the car is moving then the wheels should also be a little bit blurry right so let's just do a little bit of the adjustment let's duplicate our car layer so Control J we have two layers of car and now we only need the wheels to be blurry so we can use our ellipse select so make a circle here it doesn't have to be very accurate if you want to want to change your selection just click transform selection and then you can just adjust it whatever however you want okay let's make sure you don't select any part of the car area we just want the wheels to be blurred so once we are satisfied with our selection hit enter and then go to filter again blur this time because the wheel is a circle so let's click radial blur radial blur simply means it will create something blurry in in a circle in the shape of a circle so click radial blur and okay so now let's deselect it Control plus D you can see that this area compared with this other wheel it is a lot blurry and certainly more realistic than this one so let's do something similar to this wheel as well so again we'll need something like this We will deal with the this part later okay so first let's just repeat what we've done filter blur radio blur okay so now you can see that well it is blurry but um it blurred the upper part of the car as well so let's fix that 
so in our layer 2 we have to create a mask let's just make a very rough selection you can just hide this area so that it will look you will see clearly so the selection should be like this and then add on a little bit of here so this part should not be blurry right let's click on this layer and because we have selected this so let's click on mask so it will create a mask like this so you can see that well now the effect isn't showing because the mask is not inversed yet so let's click ctrl plus i to inverse that so now we have the wheel is blurry but the upper part of the car is still perfectly clear so if you want to see clearly this is our final work compared to our original now you can see that the background including the the background inside the window and the wheels are blurry so that's it it looks complicated but if you take it down to different to some very little steps then you can see that only within four steps we have completed something like this so this is today's lesson if you have any questions please leave a comment below and i will see what i can i can do to help you and i will see you next time bye